They say birds of a feather flock together, and I guess that also applies to dodo birds because over the years there have been more crack brain trends than flavors of Ben and Jerry's ice cream, bro. It's like a disease of lunacy that spread over the internet quicker than some dollar store lotion or something. Some of these heedless activities I've seen on the internet over the past couple years has really made me think that Charles Darwin's theory of evolution was inscribed backwards. I'm 100% certain without a shadow of a doubt that most trends are just people conducting the most rancorous ventures known to man. So today, we'll be discussing some of the most unadorned and imbecilic trends that have ever transpired on the internet as well as the complications and hindrances that they cause. Comment down below the worst trends that you've ever seen on the internet and like and subscribe if you're new. First we gotta talk about eating Tide Pods. The fact that this caught enough wind to be considered a trend is agitating enough on its own. Bro, there's an entire Wikipedia page about this shit, bro. Like, who the fuck woke up one day and was like, I wonder what these forbidden gushers taste like, and just started going to town on them motherfuckers. Don't get me wrong, though. Those Tide Pods are probably healthier than most of the bullshit that's in food anyway. If you look at the back of a granola bar or something, you're bound to find all types of inscrutable and lengthy ingredients that you've never heard of. Straight up Harry Potter spells and shit, bro. But that still doesn't give you the excuse to start downing Tide Pods like they're pizza rolls. I vividly remember back in 2018 when this trend first started going viral and turned into a whole ass challenge. I'm not even the type of person to victim but at this point it's just natural selection bro and most of the niggas that are participating in this cesspool stupidity were over the age of at least 14 or something aka old enough to know not to try this foolishness this is why you boys got to manage what your kids are watching because you probably think they're watching peppa pig whole time them niggas are watching videos on how to send themselves to the lore quicker than amazon prime bro and don't get me wrong i remember when i was a kid motherfuckers were eating play-doh like it was some lavish snack but this is just maniacal bro but then again these were the same people who were downing bleach like a capri sun or something when shit like this started going viral that was a clear sign that i was getting older because there's no way these knucklehead mcfazitrons were sending themselves to the ER just for a couple of views. Now we gotta talk about that stupid ass crate challenge. This challenge was a definition of fuck around and find out. Everybody and their mama was doing this shit bro. Young people, old people, aunties, uncles, senior citizens, the dumb assery was peaking at immeasurable heights. Seriously bro, you had some of the most uncoordinated people that I think I've ever seen in my life try to ascend this tower of crates. And then we'll be surprised when they would fall and crash harder than the economy in 2007. And then the people watching got the nerve to say, oh you were so close. My nigga close to what? The pearly gates? Not to be mentioned they used to be shaking like an iron deficient stripper when they would reach the top. And I couldn't help but cringe every time I would see these niggas niggas fold themselves like origami. The poses that these motherfuckers were ending up in will make a yoga instructor jealous. Is sending yourself to the ER really worth your 15 seconds of fame? Fortunately, nobody was sent to the afterlife, but there were people left paralyzed. I know the nurses and doctors were working overtime to tend to these niggas, bro. But I have one question for the class. Where the hell was everybody getting these crates from? They had to be hitting licks to no end, bro. Or they were planted there by the government. I'm not really sure. But anyway, why were so many people performing in these ghetto-ass Olympics anyway? Like, it doesn't even seem fun or congenial in any way, shape, or form. This clip was pretty funny, though. What's wrong, okay? When I came down... Now we gotta talk about plastic surgery. The fact that this phenomenon has occurred enough for me to call us a trend is vexing enough. Now if you've seen this video then you're already informed about how I feel about these blithering BBL buffoons. I've never been able to decipher why people feel the need to mutilate their bodies. I've seen some of the most disfigured and disproportionate entities to ever grace the globe. They and this bitch looking like rejected bug life characters bro. I'm talking straight bedrock booty. Why can't people just be happy with the bodies they were blessed with instead of turning themselves into a low budget kick Patowski? And it'd be one thing if you weren't really able to tell if they got surgery, but most of the people who go under the knife end up botching themselves completely. And I hope I'm not the only person who finds these Aesthetic pampers repulsive anyway. I couldn't imagine blowing a couch tuition just to look like a fucking wisdom tooth. I'd rather have my girl be built like a telephone pole than a science experiment gone wrong. Who's getting turned on by shit like this, bro? Actually, I'll take that back because I've encountered some niggas who would fuck a bed bug if it gave them the chance. And it doesn't stop with the BBLs because motherfuckers were turning their faces into Picasso paintings and shit. I don't know if y'all remember this, but a couple years back there was a guy who got a magnitude of work done to his face and claimed that he was transracial and identifies as a Korean man. Now, last time I checked, I'm pretty sure I'm not Korean, but if I had to take a shot in the dark, I'd probably say that a couple surgeries to make your eyes slimmer doesn't exactly make the cut but if you're korean and watching this video let me know but apparently he also wants to get a different kind of surgery to become 100 percent korean yeah i'm about to go gouge my eyes out with a rusty spoon and then there was an entire dr kim situation where he was absolutely morphing niggas faces and turning them into muppets and i'm pretty sure i don't need to go into convoluted detail about lip fillers and face reductions and the extreme liposuction walking around looking like candy wife from flapjack but at the end of the day if this is what you want for yourself then by jove go right ahead and hey if you don't want to take my word for it just listen to kylie jenner she's happy with the way god created her it's not like she's got so much plastic in her body that she's gonna need to be recycled when she passes away. Now we gotta talk about the gallon smashing trend. Now in the past, I've already elucidated my thoughts on working in retail and the anguish that it caused me, but I couldn't imagine if someone came in and just obliterated some milk cartons for content and now I gotta clean it up. If you're one of the people that found these videos comical, I know you're actively munching on crayons as we speak. I remember this was a thing back when Vine was still around, but for some reason it came back like the Terminator or something. I don't even know how these videos were going viral to begin with. Oh, look at me, I pretend to fall and throw my milk comically high in the air, little, 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 wee. And then they'd be taking advantage of the nice people who actually believe that they fell and try to help them up. Is this even classified as a prank? Because last time that I checked, pranks were supposed to result in both respective parties having a grand old time. Nowadays, it's just people going out in public and doing shit like this. Plus, buying groceries costs more than a fucking mortgage at this point, so this is just ignorant, bro. Now we gotta talk about when people were licking ice cream. 
And no, I'm not talking about when the fake ass NPCs were licking imaginary ice cream, talking about ice cream so good. I'm talking about when niggas were cracking ice cream cartons open like a legend of Zelda chest and dragging their dusty ass tongues all over the surface of ice cream like they're trying to roll the fattest backwood, bro. Similar to our last talking point, this once again comprised of people recording themselves being absolutely gormless inside grocery stores. I really think this is what prompted the COVID-19 pandemic to start in the first place. These troglodytes should have been expunged from the globe completely. And this really grinds my gears because if you know me, you know I love ice cream more than Joe Biden does. Like imagine trying to get some scrumptious and delectable ice cream after a hard day's work. Unbeknownst to you that shit's laced with all types of germs and pathogens bro this is why i reach as far as i can to the back when shopping for food but i'll be honest if you're buying food that isn't sealed in any fashion you're a bold individual but speaking of licks now we gotta talk about devious licks now y'all know i hate school as much as the next man but the thought of plundering a soap dispenser or anything from school has never crossed my mind these videos i was seeing on the internet were absolutely preposterous bro since when did it become cool to commit crimes luckily this trend never really caught wind in my school except for the fact that niggas were nabbing soap dispensers like they were free samples from costco and since our school didn't believe in the well-being and prosperity of their students they never Never replace them. But like I said earlier, the videos I was seeing were nothing short of nefarious. Niggas were stealing desks, whiteboards, fire alarms, stall doors, entire toilets. It was getting ridiculous, bro. But what absolutely bamboozled me was the fact that niggas were still dropping deuces broad day with no regard. These niggas had no shame. But the people destroying the bathroom were looking like Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob when they was leaving that hotel. I was questioning how they were even getting access to such items, let alone leaving the school with them. Like, how do you leave the school with an entire water fountain in your hands? But you know these videos were malevolent when TikTok themselves wiped the entire challenge from their app like some Windex. But that still didn't stop these maniacal motherfuckers from destroying their school bit by bit like a fucking game of Jenga. Now we gotta talk about gender reveal parties. Now look, don't get me wrong, the idea and concept of a gender reveal party is totally fine. If y'all want another excuse to get together and eat cake like the big blubber back ass individuals you are, then be my guest. And for the most part, gender reveal parties are pretty harmless, but it seems like over the past several years, these parties have been more dramatic than a high school play. Like these parties really be looking like fake ass WWE entrances, bro. Now for this next exercise, I want you to watch the video that will transpire on the screen. that not insane? Now I'm sure some of you will probably come to the conclusion that I'm just hating. But when you got JJ the jet plane tooting out blue smoke polluting all the air within a 20 mile radius, it's a little OD. The earth is already more tainted than the Taco Bell toilet, but now we gotta worry about bushfires and random ass explosions. But the most perturbing thing about these gender reveals videos is when the father is clearly pissed off that they're having a daughter. I understand that most of the time the dad wants to have a son and the mother wants to have a daughter, but to be throwing a temper tantrum when you find that you're having a daughter is vacuous. Like imagine making the daughter of one of these motherfuckers and seeing the video of your dad falling to his knees like Walter White. That's fucked up bro. Now we gotta talk about the cinnamon chat. Challenge. Now this is a little bit of a throwback, but if you were on the internet at the time, you remember that this challenge had the internet in a bigger chokehold than Darth Vader, bro. Once again, these videos were comprised of people damn near offing themselves on camera. Now this challenge wasn't as serious because the individual could just grab some water and save themselves from affliction and anguish, and the people that were performing this challenge used to be talking hella shit just for them to shit the bed like Amber Heard, bro. And plus I learned that cinnamon comes from tree bark, so niggas were pretty much ingesting spicy sawdust. Now we gotta talk about veneers. Now this is a trend that has suddenly taken the world by storm, and that's predominantly due to Atlanta pioneering the occupation of a veneer technician. Now what is a veneer technician? technician you may ask? Well apparently niggas are taking this Team Umizumi ass course in 5 minutes and are now licensed to start ruining teeth left and right. No joke, these motherfuckers are setting up shop in their fucking basement and are just attaching all type of fragments into people's mouths bro. And then they got the nerve to hand out this deceitful ass diploma that's worth about as much as a slap in the face. This is like when Gumball found out that Principal Brown's diploma was painted to his damn wall. It takes years to become a dentist, let alone a dentist who can distribute veneers. But nah, let me hit up my homegirl Destiny to get acrylic paint on my teeth. Now in my humble opinion, veneers are already grotesque as hell. Like why would I pay an arm and a leg just to look like Dr. Bender? I know it takes every particle of your being to try and close your mouth with them big ass piano keys in there bro but if i ever were to get veneers i'm going to an actual professional not no motherfucker who clicks i'm not a robot on their macbook and was granted a veneer technician diploma and you can always tell when a motherfucker got these dominoes in their mouth because they're blindingly white and all the same shape because breaking news we have different teeth for different purposes but these baddie individuals just have straight bricks lining their gums moral of the story get some crest 3d white strips or just simply start brushing your funky ass teeth now we gotta talk about stanley cups now for the longest time, this was the only Stanley Cup that I was aware of. But apparently these things are also called Stanley Cups and they drive people crazy. You got motherfuckers collecting these bitches like Sonic rings, bro. Isn't the whole point of these cups to be reusable? But yet you've got one for every calendar day. It's really sad to see how consumerism continues to beat y'all asses day in and day out. There are people fighting over these cups like some ducks for some bread. It's literally just a hydro flask epidemic all over again. Now we gotta talk about all these stupid ass tattoos people are getting. We've all seen the neck tattoos and face tattoos that have accumulated over the years. Specifically the Limitless tattoo. I've heard of Hall of Fame Limitless range, but Hall of Fame 
limitless throat is one for the books. I don't know what type of diddy fied behavior has gotten into these niggas, but I pray to God that this man is never sent to prison because if them inmates get one glance at that neck, he's gonna need a lifetime supply of ibuprofen. And most of the people that be out here getting face tattoos just be looking like them fucking doodle bears from the mid 90s. And is it just me, or it seems like a new EDP variant is unveiled every 10 to 12 business days? Seriously, bro, the last time I seen this many predators was at my local zoo. But. I think that's gonna wrap everything up for this video, man. Comment down below the worst internet trends that you've seen. Like, subscribe if you're new. Let me know what other, what other trends I missed out on. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll make a part two. Like, subscribe if you're new. Join the family. We're going crazy. 2024 takeover is a full effect, baby. Thank y'all for making it to the end of the video. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Thank you for, you know, allowing me to, you know, have a platform, allowing me to entertain y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's a blessing. I'm truly grateful for everything. And yeah, just thank y'all for being here if you made it to the end. I'm gonna keep putting out this heat for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I got some fire videos coming up. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Every time, y'all let me know what else y'all want to see. But I hope this video finds you a good spirits. I'm G Grimey. It's been real. I'm out. I love y'all. Peace.